XLM. The Lord is continuing to show me this coin. I believe something very, very soon is going to happen with XLM. Um, I know XLM and XRP tend to run together, but uh, it was about a year and a half ago, just recapping a little bit. I woke up uh, when the Lord wants to really show me something or get my attention. He's done this with callings in my life. It's as I'm waking up, I'll hear a voice or I'll see a vision. And um, it's always the Lord. I know it's always the Lord. Many of you could say amen. I'm not the only one that God deals with that way. I've spoken to many people that God deals with the same exact way. Um, and that's just one way that he deals with us. But when he wants to get my attention, it's as I'm waking up. It's the first voice. God is always first. He gets the first fruits. He said, love me first above you know, love me with all your mind, heart, soul, and strength. Love your neighbors, yourself, to, to the greatest commandments. And I tell people, God will, will either be Lord of all or he will not be Lord at all. God is always first. He's never second, third, fourth, or fifth. Nobody uses God, but God uses everybody and everything. All right? Some might say, well, why is God always speaking to you about crypto? You know, what kind of God do you serve? Well, here's the deal, and I'll say this, and my boasting is in the, is in the Lord. I put God first. I honor him with my finances, my desires for him. I wake up and I spend my first few hours in the morning with the Lord, okay? I, I, I serve at his church. I serve his kingdom. I, you know, I, I like I said, I, I, I'm saying this to make a point that I believe when we're doing, the, when we're putting God first, we're honoring God, we're serving God first, we're giving to God first, we're giving him the first fruits of all of our life, not just our finances, then he will share things with us. No, he doesn't only just share crypto with me, um, but he does. And, and it's also part of this wealth transfer that he has led many of us to, that we will be Joseph's in this hour. Said all that to say this, so you don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I heard XLM. As soon as I woke up, I heard XLM. It was, it was spoken in my heart. I didn't hear an audible voice. A year and a half ago, I woke up, I saw XLM in a vision. And I said, XLM will go before XRP. And that's why I've always felt like XLM might run out of the gates before we see XRP just explode to the moon, which we know it will. I mean, every time I look at my news, XRP is signing up with more banks. The United Emirates now has signed up with their CBDCs using Ripple and XRP. When, when this coin is ready to go, um, there's going to be no stopping it. But the Lord keeps showing me XLM more than XRP, right? Just in these last few months, more than Luna Classic, more than Shiba Inu. Um, I hate to say which coin's going to go first. I definitely won't do any timing because timing never, the timing is the Lord's. And I've said that a hundred times and I'll keep saying that. I don't believe in putting prophetic dates on things, but yes, we are privy to the seasons. Of, we're privy to the seasons and the times, but not exact dates. The dates are the Lord's, okay? Even Jesus Christ, who was God manifest in the flesh, and there's only one God. We all know that. But he spoke as a man, even though, he, even though the fullness of the Godhead was in Jesus Christ, okay? But he spoke as a man, and they asked him, you know, they were asking him, you know, when is uh, your return? And he said, you know, only his Father in heaven knows that. The angels don't know it. He doesn't know it even though the, spirit, you know, the eternal spirit dwelt in him. So the point I'm trying to say is that the, the exact date and hour is the Lord's, but we feel something coming. We felt it for a while. You know what? I, I moved to Texas, right? I got to Texas about uh, a month and a half ago now. And uh, well, a little over a month and a half ago. I felt that move for over three years. I, it might actually, it was probably more than that. I felt that the church I was at was not going to be my home church in the near future. So prophecy, you know, and it can, it can be the tough part of prophecy because if we're praying and we're fasting and we're sensitive to God, we're going to sense things months, years, you know, and, and, and multiple years before some prophecies will come to, will come to pass. So we've been sensing this, many of you before me, so I'm not to say I'm, I'm some original OG in the crypto space. I'm not. I've been in it only a couple of years, but I got into it because I sensed this. I sensed this wealth transfer. I sensed that God was going to use this in, 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 you know, in his timing, in his fashion for worldwide revival. That's why we're here, okay? Um, 
So going back to XLM, uh, you know, none of this is financial advice, but have your bags packed. I, I believe some big news is gonna break forth. I know we have Shibarium in a couple weeks, possibly even the end of this week. Be ready for that, right? We're gonna we're gonna hold these coins that the Lord showed us and and and, and we're gonna let God give the increase. Um Luna Classic, you know, I, I don't know the timing with that coin. Um but we know Binance holds a large portion. There's going to probably be some kind of proposal passed with massive burns that might send that coin up. I'm not sure. You know, XRP, all these banks around the world, same thing with XLM, are partnering SWIFT and, you know, these trillion-dollar institutions uh, are starting to partner with these coins. So with XLM, I just, I feel there's going to be breaking news soon. I don't know if it's going to be with Elon Musk and the, you know, his new X symbol, uh, we do know that he is um, closely working with the founder of XLM in uh, with SpaceX. Um, so there's a tie there. There's a close tie there. I'm not exactly sure. This is all speculation, but I just the Lord just keeps moving on my heart. So I, you know, um, anyhow, I'm ready for anything, <laughs> like many of you. But I just wanted to share that, that once again, the Lord put XLM on my heart. And he's, like I said, more than all these other prophetic coins in just in the last couple of months, you know, he's shown me Shiba Inu and um, I believe we're close with that coin as well. But I believe something's gonna pop with XLM real soon. Uh, a brother of mine a week ago shared a dream. He saw XLM at uh, $7.50, somewhere in that range. I told him that's just the beginning. I believe the Lord showed me XLM well into the hundreds of dollars. I, uh, you know, e even into the thousands of dollars. I had just a, a, a quick dream on that months back that I really haven't shared, but I, I just know that that coin, when it goes, it's gonna, it's gonna go high. And I think it's a sleeping giant. It doesn't get the publicity that XRP gets. Well, you know, of course, XRP is getting a lot because it was in this major. It's the only cryptocurrency in a lawsuit with the SEC. Just getting clarity. That's huge. Um, but I want to share this also. So um, I just had to run out for a minute. I, I woke up. That was on my heart. I prayed, did my Bible reading, and then I had to run out quick. And, and I'm running out, and I'm just talking to the Lord in the car, and, and I was just just pondering upon that, that impression that I felt this morning when I woke up. And, uh, you know, just talking to the Lord about it, just checking in. You know, make sure all this you pray about. Don't don't just follow me. Um, this is my channel. I'm just sharing what I'm feeling and sensing. And and you all know that, but maybe those of you that are new. Um, anyhow, so as I'm as I'm thinking that, right? A friend of mine calls, and and you know he's just going through a hard time. Many people, many people, and I've shared some of their stories. Are going through some hard times right now. We got to stay close to the Lord. But he said, he's like, Greg, once again, he's like, I'm crying out to the Lord. And uh, he goes, I, my trust is in the Lord. And ultimately, you know, but, uh, you know, just going through some financial difficulties. And he's like, that Stella truck again pulled right in front of me. He's like, you know, it's laughable. Sometimes God will do that. You know, he'll, you know, so make things laughable. And he's like, I know I'm not trusting in Stella. I'm not trusting. I'm trusting in the Lord, but he keeps doing this to me. And I said, it's crazy because I'm pondering in my car about XLM what the Lord put on my heart this morning. So, you know, we get a chuckle out of it, but, you know, we need to keep each other in prayer because, you know, we are going through some serious things and, and um, you know, and not just finances, right? But I know there's people that we're praying that have terminal diseases and and there's been attacks on my church. I'm sure many of you could say the same. So we're, let's, let's, let's bind together and pray right now. Um, in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible tells us that it's the law of Christ to bear each other's burdens. And I feel right now, I feel right now to do that. God's got the crypto. God, yeah, we're trying to pray this thing through and I think we need to add some prayer, but I feel let's, let's just bear each other's burdens right now. I'm gonna try to be spirit led and, and, uh, and pray, all right? Father, we come together, Lord, in one mind, one accord, and one spirit. We thank you for what you are doing in our lives. We thank you for the cross, your blood, your word, and your name and your spirit. We thank you. And I ask that you fill everybody right now with the Holy Spirit. 
We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over each one of us and our families right now, Father. Father, and I pray for those right now that need financial blessings. I pray you bless their finances, Father. I speak breakthrough in their finances. I speak promotion on their jobs. I speak wealth transfer, Lord God, into their bank accounts, Father. I pray right now, Father, that you will rebuke the devourer for our sakes. I pray for those that are dealing with sickness and disease, Lord. We bind every spirit of sickness, disease, and infirmity in Jesus' name, and we cast it out. I speak healing, divine healing over our bodies right now. For those that are dealing with marital problems, problems between mother and child, father and son, mother and daughter, Lord God, just family drama. I speak restoration, I speak unity, and I speak healing in our relationships, in marriages, and in families. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray right now, Lord God, that you repair what has been broken and we speak breakthrough right now over our lives. We speak victory right now over our lives, Father. I pray that you align our minds and our hearts, souls and spirits to be in alignment with your word, your spirit and your kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. I ask for peace to be multiplied upon each one of us right now. I ask for the joy of the Lord to be our strength. I ask that you fill us with hope today, Lord God. Lift up our heads, Lord God. You are the lifter of our heads, Father. I bind every spirit of suicide, depression, anxiety, and fear in Jesus' name and cast it out. And we loose the peace of God. Father, I ask for angelic assistance to be upon us right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. I pray for those right now that have lost family members, Lord, that you heal their broken hearts. I pray for those that are suffering loss right now, that you will give them hope and baptize them in your love, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let your Holy Ghost come through this channel right now and fill everybody. Fill them up overflowing, Lord God, that rivers of living water begin to flow from their innermost being, Father. That the rivers of your spirit, Lord God, flow right now, Lord. And touch everybody on here right now in the name of Jesus. I speak wholeness. I speak healing. I speak life in Jesus' name. Praise God. We got victory in Jesus. Hold on to his promises. Encourage yourself in the Lord. I pray a boldness rise up in you for those that just are feeling pressed down right now. A boldness and a fire rises up in you right now. And you will stand to your feet and shout, Jesus, that we have the victory. That the Lord is on our side, that we're accepted in the beloved, that we are the head and not the tail, that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Rejoice not against me, O oh my enemy, for when I fall, I shall arise. When I'm in darkness, the Lord shall be my light. Praise God. God bless you all in Jesus' name.